Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our What's for Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday. If you are new to our channel, in our household, it's me, my husband, and our seven month old baby. And I am working on using up items in my freezer, pantry, and refrigerator. So this week, we are starting out by using up some items, well, an item, I should say, from my freezer. We had this Trader Joe's linguine with pesto and tomatoes. And here it is on the plate. It serves three according to the package here, but I just split it in two for us. And here are the ingredients if you're interested in seeing what was in there. And here it is on our plate, or my husband's plate, I should say. And it only took about five, 10 minutes to make it in the skillet, so here it is. And with it, we are having a salad, um, using up this sweet butter lettuce that I got from Aldi. Um, it actually expires today and it was starting to look a little bit bad, so I'm glad I got to use it up. But this is from Aldi. I picked it up during my last Aldi haul and I'll link it for you guys. With it, we are just having some garlic toast. It is the five cheese variety. And I picked this up from Tom Thumb a while ago and it was in my freezer, so we're using up something else from our freezer. And then on the salads, we actually don't really have a lot of stuff on our salad. Um, we're just adding some Parmesan cheese that I had in my fridge from Kroger. And then for salad dressing, Howard is using up this bacon ranch. And then I am using up this uh, Greek vinaigrette. I think this may have come from Aldi a while back ago. I can't remember. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I made some five minute wonton soup, and I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. I've made this several times before, and we really like it a lot. So I used a container and a half of chicken broth, and then I used our favorite wontons from Trader Joe's for the wontons. I had some Asian noodles, dried Asian noodles in my pantry, so I used half of a package of the Asian noodles. I did not have fresh mushrooms, so I had to use canned mushrooms. And I also used some fresh spinach that I picked up from Aldi, and here is the soup. And you add all sorts of um, seasoning and spices to it, like um, you use sesame oil and uh, chili paste and all sorts of things. And it is a really good hearty soup. And this is a really large bowl. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a pretty deep bowl. So this will definitely make a meal for us. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having frozen pizza. This is from DiGiorno and I recently picked it up on a Kroger haul. I'm gonna make sure to link it for you guys, but it is a new pizza. It is the croissant crust pizza. We have the three meat variety, and as you can see right here, it says light and flaky buttery crust, and it has sausage, pepperoni, and beef. So here it is, you cook it on 400, you cook it directly on the oven rack, and I tasted some of it, and it is really good. So here's the crust. You can kind of see the flakiness of the crust. Let me try to show you guys. You can see the little layers there and I tried it and it is good. It is a very light pizza crust, so here's the bottom of it. It's a very light, flaky pizza crust. So it doesn't taste like a traditional frozen crust at all. Um, I wouldn't say it tastes like a croissant, but it does have that flakiness in the layers. Here's another side of the pizza right here so you can see, so it is good. I would definitely repurchase it again. It is also very small. It's um, a lot smaller than a regular, you know, traditional size pizza. I think it's small. Um, so anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am trying out a new recipe. It is called Cheesy Chicken Penne, and I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box, but in this large skillet right here, I am melting 16 ounces of Velveeta cheese that I cut up, and some sour cream, eight ounces of sour cream, and I also have some milk in there as well, so I am waiting until that completely melts. 
In the meantime, I have cooked um, two cups of dry penne pasta in heavy, heavily salted water and then I drained it and I put it back in the pot. I did not rinse it. Once this is completely melted, I'm going to add in the penne pasta and then I'm also going to add in two cups of chicken cooked chicken. Now this chicken I cooked up before and I had it in my freezer for recipes and casseroles. So I have probably a little more than two cups of shredded chicken there. It's dark wheat, dark meat and white meat. So I'm just waiting on this to melt. Like I said, I've got some green beans cooking back there too. And then I also made a dessert. So as soon as this is ready, I'll plate everything up and show you what we're having for dinner. Okay guys, so here is the pasta dish, and as you can see, it is super creamy. Howard and I both, ta both tasted it, and it tastes really good. It's very rich, very cheesy, has a good flavor, so I'll definitely be eating leftovers because it made quite a bit. And with it, I just made some green beans. I just used two cans of the Aldi green beans and seasoned them up with seasoned salt, garlic, garlic powder, onion powder, etc. For dessert, I made a lemon bundt cake. Now, normally, pre-pandemic, um, whenever I was craving lemon bundt cake, I would go to this place called Nothing Bundt Cake, which serves little miniature um, bundt cakes. And um, of course, now it's not as easy to get out of the house. So in my pantry, I had some lemon cake mix. And um, here are the ingredients on the back. You need water, vegetable oil, and eggs. I wanted to make this taste more homemade. So instead of vegetable oil, I used an equal amount of butter. So I used one stick of butter that I melted in the microwave. And instead of water, I used milk. And then I added a cream cheese icing on top. I made um, a cream cheese icing that I found online with cream cheese, confectioner, sugar, and milk. And so um, here is a close up of the cake. Howard and I have already been eating off of it and it's really good. Here is a slice that I cut for you guys. And it's really good. So um, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so this is our final meal of the week. Howard grilled out for us today, we are having ribs and then we are also having some corn on the cob that he grilled as well and then I made a giant potato in the air fryer that we split and you can't see it because the butter is all melted but there is butter and sour cream and of course we have a whole rack of ribs to get through so we will be having leftovers so this concludes our meals of the week I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please make sure to give us a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to our channel I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.